welcome home, Jack. We thank the Lord for bringing you back. Six years is a long time without any word. Go say hello to your daddy, son. I'd forgotten how beautiful you were. How do you know a man? By his face, his words, his touch. Certainly have changed, haven't I? For the better? <laughs> so much better, it scares me sometimes. I'll be damned. Foot's two sizes smaller now. But you've known all along, haven't you? Why don't you take them into your house, into your bed? Whoever you think I am, do you love me? You are not my husband. May God strike me dead, if I am not. Who are you? You tell me who you are, I'm gonna burn this place down. Get down! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! John Robert Summers, me. We have a warrant for your arrest for the murder of Mr. Charles Conklin. If you tell them who you are, then they'll have to let you go. You could win your life, sir. Without my name, I, I don't think I have a life. You are not Jack Summers, so why do you keep going on pretending that you are? How do you know I'm not? I know because... How do you know? I know because I never loved him the way that I love you. Richard Gere, Jodie Foster, Summersby. See what I mean? It's plump, it's juicy, it's three inches thick. Now, can anybody tell me what's wrong with this picture? Having a bad day. Going nowhere fast. The economy making you tense. Afraid to walk the streets. Life in the 90s got you down? What are you gonna do about it? Hey! Where do you think you're going? Going home. I am just trying to get home to my little girl's birthday. And if everybody will stay out of my way, then nobody will get hurt. Give me some money. Give us your briefcase. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. In the battlefield of life. I, mean, I was willing to mind my own business, but you couldn't leave it alone, could you? The time has come. Move up or move back, you 
for Bill Foster to fight back. You forgot the briefcase! And what would a white guy in a white shirt and tie be doing in gangland? In America, we have the freedom of speech, the right to disagree! What kind of vigilante are you? I am not a vigilante. Just standing up for my rights as a consumer. Hi, I'd like some breakfast. We stop serving breakfast at 11.30. Have you ever heard the expression, the customer is always right? Yeah, well, hey, I'm really sorry. Yeah, well, hey, I'm really sorry, too. Oh, no, it's an accident! It's an accident! We got a nutcase with a bag full of guns. He's in Hollywood right now, and he's heading west. Excuse me, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but there's other people waiting to use the phone here. He has a propensity for violence. I think it's out of order. Yeah, I think you could say that. That's the point of no return. If you go up against this guy, be careful. Michael Douglas, Robert Duvall, falling down. I'm the bad guy? So I'm the product of a one-night stand? No, I was artificially inseminated. <laughs> Sperm bank. That is undignified. Yes, yes, I bought the sperm. I asked for the best they had. You know, black, smart, not too tall. Hello there, can I help you? Hi, I'm looking for uh, Hal Jackson. Well, look no further. Halbert Jackson. The one and only. You're white. <laughs> Wait a minute, what, what do you mean white? He's like, like white, white? White, white, white. You mean he's like a like a creamy eggshell kind of tan? Yes! He's so like my he is a white guy. I'll be darned. What do you mean he's white? Rap! 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 It's Hal Jackson! This is Hal Jackson from Jackson Motors. You mean the schmuck on the television with all the animals? And this is Larry. How's your pal? <laughs> my dad! No, this is not a mix-up. A mix-up is when you order hamburger again, cheeseburger. I'll bet you $100 I can nail the next person to walk through that door. Hey there, I'm Hal Jackson. What I'm talking about is a major mistake in my life. Now, are you looking for something special today? Yeah, I'd like your head on a stick. This is going to be a tough sale. When you were alone with him, did he say anything about me? That you seemed really smart. He also said he thought you were really beautiful. That's cool. Yeah, I read black authors, you know. Wilt Chamberlain book, Changed My Life. Yo, it's a white man at the door. <laughs> Bye. I'll tell her be home by midnight. You have her back here by midnight? Yeah. It is the judgment of this court that you be sentenced to die, and may God have mercy on your soul. The government gave her a choice. Death. Or life. We've decided to give you another chance. As an assassin. We need a young female operative. I think she's the one. What do I gotta do? Girl number five, take out the bad guys. Do not shoot the good guys. What do you do when you're most uncomfortable? Okay, come on, come on, hit me. I hit. Oh! I want immediate improvement or she gets a bullet in the brain. You might want to try smiling. Why are you so serious? He mentioned the word bullet and he mentioned the word brain. You hear me? Your name is Claudia Doran. You live in Venice, California. Where are you from? It's not a trick question. Chicago. And your code name is Nina. Hello? Nina, one hour. There are three people sitting behind you on the balcony. I don't understand. I want you to put two bullets in the VIP. Once she took their deal, she passed the point of no return. How are you? Just blew up a hotel. How the hell do you think I am? You like living with a ghost. In a minute. You never tell me anything. A while ago, I did something really bad. But I'm always going to be paying for it. When they gave her a new life. I know you like that you made me into something different. Let me go. They never thought she'd want to leave it. If you pull this job off of me, I'll see what I can do to help. Bridget Fonda. The assassin 